Hello everyone, I wanted to talk about my frustration with a lot of modern uh, book covers because I actually don't like the way uh, most uh, traditionally published books are uh, made in terms of their covers. Um, I actually think that self-published books often have far more inspired covers and, and even uh, self-published books that look, I mean covers that look kind of cheap, there's still often some kind of originality whereas I often feel that the covers for traditionally published books, at least in the last few uh, last decade or so, I often think they look uh, artificial. Um, for example, uh, you have a uh, this cover for a dance with uh, dragons. Now, one of my problems with a lot of modern book cover uh, covers, and this can especially be true if the author is popular, if they're a well-known name, is that um, sometimes the um, and this isn't probably the best example because I have seen worse examples, but I'm just, I was trying to get a book that's modern, which I don't have too many, but uh, um, sometimes the, the, the name, you know, for example, George R. R. Martin can be way too big and it, and it, it can obscure the image on the cover. Uh, um, and, and I think um, that um, because the cover is supposed to let you know what the book is about by giving a sense of atmosphere. And sometimes if the author's name is too big, um, that can be uh, uh, prevented. And also I often find that that a lot of these covers have, uh, and this is more of a personal taste thing, have sometimes simplistic images. They don't really tell you a lot about the world or environment, so you might have something like a cup, or in this case a dragon symbol. And um, and so sometimes uh, you don't r really see, a single image doesn't really g tell you a whole lot about, about um, the world that um, the, the book I inhabits. So for example, with uh, the cover for Silent Reckoning, you can see, of course, the eyes and New York City in the background, and uh, you can see a lot of things in the Ferris wheel. You, you, you get a sense of what the world is like from the cover. And uh, of course, the, the name isn't interfering either. Now I admit that the name probably could have been, my name could have been a little bigger, but overall I think this is a solid cover because you get a sense of uh, the atmosphere and the image is very clear. Whereas very often with modern books, you don't really get that sense, and sometimes they can feel too artificial and photoshopped, and, and that's why I kind of miss uh, old covers that that were more, uh, you know, that were kind of hand drawn, and uh, where where you could tell because especially like if you look at some of the first Game of Thrones covers, there was like dragons on them, and and there was a lot more effort and detail what what, what was put into it, and so uh, no, I don't really like uh, modern uh, a lot of modern uh, covers. Uh, for traditionally published books. I think self-published books in many cases are far more inspired and even in cases where they look you know somewhat cheap I still think they often look more original than a lot of uh, traditionally published uh, book covers.